Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Hello, children. Welcome back to another exciting episode. We're looking at uh, social studies. This is grade four. Uh, topic is known as culture. Okay. Now, as we look at culture, we need first of all to understand the meaning of the word culture. Now, culture means people's way of life. Is the people's way of life. Now. People's way of life. You know, when we were young, we understood some certain values that were instilled to us from our parents. The way people used to dress, the way people used to, the type of food people used to eat. There are certain ways or things that people used to do in a certain way. Why? Because that's the culture that was instilled in us. Now, culture is very diverse. We have various aspects that determine or bring out the term culture. Now, these are the various aspects that we have as we talk about culture. So let us look at aspects of culture. Now, when we are looking at culture, number one aspect we look at is the food that we eat. The food that we eat, okay? Now, number one is food eaten. So, some certain culture have certain beliefs, okay, on various kinds of foods that they eat. For example, there are people that believe that eating of pigs, it's against, it's a belief, it's a taboo, okay, that we should, eat, we should not eat pigs. Now, the kind of food eaten depends with certain or different communities. So, it's very important to understand uh, the food eaten by various communities. For example, the Gikuyu are, are known as of Yedheri, that is maize and beans. Okay? The Masa are known for eating uh, most keeping of cattle, so their, their food is normally meat, if you know, when you understand that. So, in terms of culture, we need to understand, number one, the food eaten, because that's their culture, what they eat, how they prepare a meal, how they eat, it's very important. Number two, that we have is what we call the mode of dressing. Okay? Mode of Dressing. We know very well for the past how many years? I think many years? Past even a hundred years. The Maasai have been known for wearing the shukas. Even up to today. We are in the 21st century. And we find that the Maasai until today are still wearing shuka. So that's their culture. Okay? Since their children and how they have raised them to always wear the shukas. Whereby they find attractive. Uh, number two that the Maasai do, they apply what is known as the red oak that they apply on their hair, show as a sign of beauty. Now, that is a kind of dressing that shows, okay? And actually when you see the Kenya Yawis, known as the pride of Kenya, or the pride, the, it's known as uh, the, what they put there as the Maasai, because they are the, uh, the, the people who have really retained their culture in terms of dressing. Number three that we have here, we have what we say the house they live. Houses that people live. Now, for example, the Maasai, up to today, they have retained what we call the Manyatas. Okay? They are houses that they used to live long time ago. And even up to date, they still live in what we call the Manyatas. They are houses built of cow dung. And as they build, they are normally built by the women. So this culture of houses has still been retained. So culture has very various kind of aspects. Number four, we have songs and dances. Songs and dances. The kind of songs and dances that they sing. For the example, they have what you call the Moboko dance, okay? The Maasai also have their dances, the Luya have their dances, the Luo have their dances, the different kind of dances 
The Ikoyo also have what you call the Moboko. Okay? And also the Maasai have their all the dances. So their songs and dances, it's part of their culture. As they sing their own traditional songs, brings their culture together and that aspect of culture. Now, we are going to look at something else. We are going to look at the importance of culture. Why is culture important to us? Why do we think that culture is important? Importance of culture. Why is culture important? Number one, why is culture important? Why do you think uh, what has been done in those years until today has been maintained? Why have people maintained their culture? Why is it important to have culture, the people's way of life? Number one is that it promotes unity. Okay? Promotes unity. This is seen through, is seen through the songs and dances and sports. Okay? Whereby, through, whereby even in Kenya, we have what we call this uh, uh, music, music festival. Whereby through this music festival, it has promoted what we call unity among people. Whereby regions and communities from various regions come together in a certain area to perform the various songs, the various dances, the various sports. So brings a sense of unity together as a country, as a whole. Because all the different communities are represented as one. Bring people together, together as one. Number two, it teaches good morals. Good morals. Okay? Importance of culture is that it teaches people good morals. Through these songs, dances that they give, uh, through the songs, there are morals behind them. And through this culture, people are able to be raised through good morals. Because these are things that are passed through generations, and people are able to learn the different kind of morals and stories and songs that were behind them. Okay? Number three, we have is that through, through culture, okay, the government is able to earn money, okay? So government is able to earn money. So the government is able to earn money. So through this culture, the government is able to raise money, okay? For example, through the uh, music festival that we have, as there's different schools uh, bring the different cultures from various communities. They are able to raise money. The government is able to raise money. At, 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 it gets a lot of money from this music festival. Who, uh, and the government is able to do a lot of projects from the money acquired from the culture that is offered. Number four that we look at, that is seen, it's able to make people to be unique, okay? Makes people unique. makes people unique. For example, you can imagine a Maasai at this time, at this age, we are in the 21st century, probably going to the UK dressed in a shuka, okay? How do you think that guy looks? That guy looks unique because uh, it's, he's different from other people. So it brings some uniqueness. For example, as Kenya is recognized through the Maasai, Okay, because the Maasai are one of the unique people, makes Kenya look very unique through that uh, art time. So it brings some sort of uniqueness in among the people, whereby as they stay together, brings uniqueness in making of them. For example, through the food eaten and the mode of dressing, so brings the importance of culture. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day as you continue to study.